Hey friends, I wanted to show you today how to make a tahini miso glaze. So basically tahini is ground sesame while let's say peanut butter is ground peanuts. Now you can replace tahini with peanut butter if you don't have tahini or if you can't find it or even pronounce it. Now if you're fairly new developing Asian flavors, this would be a good start. So really we're just using some garlic, that's two tablespoons, that's two tablespoons of ginger, we're gonna add some soy sauce, some rice wine vinegar, then you'll add some miso paste, you'll find it at Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, basically anywhere where you can find a white guy with dreadlocks, you can find miso paste. Now you're gonna grab your tahini, eventually you're gonna get it in the bowl. Once you get that in the bowl, you're gonna mix all those flavors together. Um, once you realize that you forgot ingredients like I did here, you're gonna go ahead and grab your honey or agave in this case, and you're gonna get two teaspoons of agave, and you grab some sesame oil if you have it, um, one teaspoon of sesame oil, and then you're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of water to get that down um, to more of a glaze than a paste. Slowly add the water until you get the right consistency um, and you'll eventually get there. Now we're going to go ahead and pan sear some five ounce salmon fillets in the cast iron. Now what's important about seared salmon is it only has two sides, right? Wrong. It has four sides, so each side should be seared. As you can probably tell, I'm a strong four side searing advocate. It's really something that's overlooked even in the restaurant industry. So what we're doing here is we're just making a little 90 degree turn and we're searing each side of the salmon. As you can see here, look how beautiful. I just wanna say there's nothing against the two side flippers. Um, I'm here for you. Right, we're gonna sear each side for two minutes at high heat for each side. I think that's a total of eight minutes. In all seriousness, if you've cooked salmon in the past and you've only flipped it once, please try this out. You'll really, really dig it. I love searing salmon in the cast iron. For me, it's a lot better than using the oven. It just works a lot faster and it gets a better sear. I like to keep the skin on. Um, I know a lot of other people, like my girlfriend, for instance, doesn't like it, so it's your preference. Now we're gonna start with the sesames. Go ahead with the sesames at a medium heat. If you do it too hot at first, those things will start popping in your face. Uh, you're gonna stir that a little bit, and then you're gonna basically cook until it gets to a golden brown like you see here. Uh, just keep it rotating. Make sure all those little guys are getting nice and uh, golden. Oh, damn, what up, cucumbers? Basically, I guess here I'm gonna be dressing it up with three seared salmons, then I'm gonna add the miso glaze with the tahini, the ginger, the garlic, the soy, all that good stuff, all those good Asian flavors. We're gonna dress it with those toasted sesames, we're gonna throw some scallions on top for color, and then we're gonna pierce right through that crunchy exterior to all those good omega-3s. Hope you liked it.